Hi Web3 enthusiasts, I'm Jarvis, and in today's video we'll talk about what consensus means in cryptocurrency. Get ready to dive in. The content presented on the Syntaxverse channel does not represent investment or financial advice of any kind. The information, graphics, speeches are provided for educational and entertainment purposes only. In the world of cryptocurrency, the word consensus comes up a lot, but what does it really mean? At its core, consensus is about agreement. It's the process that allows thousands of computers spread all over the world to agree on the state of a blockchain without relying on a central authority. Why consensus matters? Think about it. Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other blockchains don't have a bank or a company keeping records. Instead, the record of who owns what is stored on a shared public ledger. But here's the challenge. If anyone can connect to the network, how do we make sure that every participant sees the same version of the truth? That's where consensus mechanisms come in. They're the rules that make sure everyone agrees on the correct version of the blockchain. Consensus in simple terms. Imagine you and your friends are keeping track of scores in a game, but you're all in different locations. One person says the score is 10 to 5, another says it's 9 to 5, and a third says it's 10 to 6. How do you decide which score is correct? You'd need a system everyone trusts, a way to agree on the right version. That's exactly what consensus does for blockchains. Types of consensus mechanisms. There are many ways blockchains reach consensus, but let's look at the two most important ones. Number one, proof of work. Pow, this is the method Bitcoin uses. Miners compete to solve complex puzzles. The first one to solve it gets to add the next block and is rewarded with new Bitcoin. Proof of work is secure, but it uses a lot of energy. Number two, proof of stake, POS, used by Ethereum today and many newer blockchains. Instead of using computers to solve puzzles, validators lock up or stake their cryptocurrency the more they stake the higher their chance of being chosen to add the next block proof of stake is more energy efficient but it requires trust that validators won't cheat because they risk losing their stake if they do other consensus models beyond proof of work and proof of stake there are several others delegated proof of stake DPoS, where token holders vote for a small group of delegates to validate transactions. Proof of authority, POL, where a set of trusted entities run the network. Hybrid models that combine features of multiple systems. Each approach has trade-offs in security, decentralization, and speed. How consensus protects the blockchain? Consensus isn't just about agreeing on the next block. It also protects the blockchain from attacks. For example, in Bitcoin, if someone wanted to cheat and double spend coins, they'd need to control more than half of the mining power. That's called a 51% attack. Consensus rules make these attacks extremely expensive and impractical, which is why Bitcoin has remained secure for over a decade. The human side of consensus. It's also worth noting that consensus isn't only technical. There's a human layer, too. When developers propose upgrades to a blockchain, the community has to agree before those changes take effect. Sometimes this leads to splits, or forks, where one group supports the old rules and another adopts new ones. So, consensus happens both on the blockchain and among the people who use it. Big picture. Consensus is what makes cryptocurrencies possible. Without it, there'd be chaos, everyone running their own version of the ledger with no guarantee of truth. With it, millions of people can exchange value over the internet without trusting a central authority. Final takeaway. When you hear the word consensus in crypto, remember, it's simply the system that makes sure everyone agrees on the same reality. It's the foundation that keeps blockchains secure, decentralized, and reliable. Thanks for watching the video, guys. See you all in another Web3 course. Goodbye.